Mike Huckabee has been doing a book tour and a tour to tease his upcoming presidential run. And let's just say that he's not helping his cause because he's been saying a lot of ridiculous stuff. So I am looking at it again, and, and it's not just because I have some nutty ambition to say, wouldn't I like to uh, be president? But I really think, James, our country is in real trouble. And yes, a lot it of it is. is because we've, we've just divorced ourselves from common sense. We've divorced ourselves from an understanding that we cannot survive as a republic if we do not become, once again, a God-centered nation that understands that our laws do not come from man. They come from God. It's the natural law of God. Our founders really understood that and believed it. They did. Now, I'm not saying that a person should run and say, let's have a theocracy, because I don't think we should. It's ridiculous. No, it, it's, it's, it, that's not what even well, our founders want. We have a want. theocracy right now. It's a secular theocracy. That's it. It's a humanistic, secular, Absolutely. atheistic, Forced even ant antagonistic toward Christian faith. Yep. And that's what we need to understand. Our basic fundamental rights are being robbed from us, taken from us, piece by piece. And you would like for whoever runs and whoever is our president to keep God in the center of their focal point. You agree with that? Absolutely, I do. And, and whether it's me or someone else, and, and I do ask people to pray. Because for me, James, this is not just a political or financial decision. It is a spiritual decision. Uh, you know, the only thing worse than not being elected president would be to be elected president without God's blessing. Mm -hmm. I can't think of a worse mm -hmm. place in the world to be than in the Oval Office without God's hand upon you. I'm legit scared at the thought of Mike Huckabee being president of the United States. Because he says stuff like that, and he says it so casually, he says it in such a nonchalant way, as if everybody understands what he's talking about, and as if it's totally normal. You know, you really need God's blessing to be president. Whoa, 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 what, what the fuck is going on here, man? What, are you talking to him, and when you do talk to him, is he talking back to you? I mean, how does the old saying go? If you talk to God, you're religious. If God talks back to you, you're schizophrenic. Like, what does that even mean? What does it mean? And understand, if you're a religious person, that's fine and dandy, but when you go out there and you're talking about politics and you keep overtly crossing over into the realm of the religious and you talk about it as if it's like a common thing, like, yeah, no, I was, so I was speaking to God the other day and he said I should be president. Hmm, what other group says stuff like that and truly believes it as much as Mike Huckabee does? I believe they're somewhere in the Middle East and they're named the Tali Tulu. Hoo -hoo. What is it again? I don't know. I'll let you fill in the blank here. And then I love how at the beginning he goes, you know, the problem in America is that common sense is gone. And then he goes on to prove it with his next comment. <laughs> common sense is gone with people like me when I start talking about how, uh, we need to go back to God. And the founders, I mean, see, the founders were brilliant because they were godly men. That, that's the whole point of the founding of the country. Could not be more wrong. That's flat out historically and factually incorrect. The founders, m many of the most well-known founders with the most name recognition, they were deists. You know what a deist is? It's basically an atheist of the time. Because there was no explanation. There was no comprehensive theory of evolution yet, so people didn't know why we appeared to be so designed and everything. So, to say I'm a deist was as secular a position as you could basically have at the time. There were very few atheists. So, uh, they believed that, okay, there's maybe a God, but we don't think that God is reading our thoughts and that God is Jesus and there's a trinity and then there's a heaven and you fucking fly bodily there when you die. They didn't buy into the bullshit. In fact, Thomas Jefferson released a book uh, called, I think it's the Faith and Moral Teachings of Jesus Christ, and it's the Bible without any of the stupid shit with all the magic in it. It's only the philosophy of Jesus. And th above all, the founders were secular. If they wanted to make this nation a Christian nation, you know what they could have done? They could have said it was a Christian nation in the founding documents. They didn't do that. How many times does the Constitution reference God? Zero. How many times does it reference Christianity? Zero. How many times does it mention Jesus? Zero. The only time it mentions religion is to say we shall not establish a religion. That the government needs to be neutral on the issue of religion. And there's a separation between church and state. So we could not be more wrong. But look, 
Here's uh, the most important point of this conversation here. He insists on being super de duper godly and mentioning God every 33 seconds, but then he argues it's okay because I'm not in favor of a theocracy. So that's what matters here. I'm saying it, I'm not in favor of a theocracy. By the way, even though in the sentence after and the sentence before, he said the exact opposite. He's like, we need godly laws again. Well, that would be a fucking theocracy. But in case you were wondering, if you're not sure if he really is in favor of a theocracy or not, take a look at this from the last time he ran for president. I have opponents in this race who do not want to change the Constitution. But I believe it's a lot easier to change the Constitution than it would be to change the word of the living God. And that's what we need to do is to amend the Constitution so it's in God's standards rather than try to change God's standards so it lines up with some contemporary view of how we treat each other and how we treat the family. I say it again. He makes the arguments the Taliban makes just with a different religion. He's a different side of the same coin. So he's right about one thing. Common sense is lacking in America. From him. <laughs>